Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's me, Dan Boxer and Blood back for another review. And today we have a new juice that we're going to review for you guys. Um, I picked this juice up yesterday. I've uh, been vaping on it a little bit and thought I'd give it a review. So, um, today for review, we'll be reviewing a, a juice by Dinner Lady. This juice is called Lemon Tart. Um... So the profile on this juice is supposedly supposed to be kind of like a lemon cookie um, from what I remember. I picked this up at my local vape shop, like I said yesterday, uh, it's a 60 milliliter bottle. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but I looked online and it goes anywhere between $12.99 and $19.99. Either way, that's a pretty good price. Um, normally what I expect to pay for a 60 mil is between 22 and 24 and 20 bucks for this thing. Perfect. Awesome. Um, so, uh, let's think about some stats real quick. Um, as always, this is, uh, three milligrams of nicotine, like I always do. Uh, it looks like the PG-VG ratio is 70-30, leaning towards VG. Um... So the design on this, uh, one thing that I've been noticing, uh, it's not really, I wouldn't say it's leaking, but there's definitely residue on it because it always, every time I pick it up, it feels like there's juice on it. Um, so maybe it's just a little loose, but other than that, um, I'm, I have mixed feelings about the design. Um, it looks a little bit sicklier, uh, a little more sickly on camera than it does in real life. It's, it looks kind of like pukish, transparent yellow on the camera, but it doesn't look that way. It's pretty much like a solid, uh, a solid yellow here in person. Um, it's pretty cool, but at the same time, it's a little hard to look at. Um, obviously, I'm probably not going to be losing this anytime soon with how vibrant it is. Uh, the sticker is not as sleek as some of the newer ones. So clearly just a regular old paper sticker. Um, other than that, it's... Um, I like the sticker. I think the design is cool. Um, lets you know the brand pretty pretty easily. I'm sorry, the brightness on the screen is pretty high up. And then very clearly what the flavor is. So that's pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the review. Let's take a let's take a smell. All right. So um, for those of you that have ever tried uh, Girl Scout cookies. Um, I don't know where, besides where I live, they sell Girl Scout cookies. Um, I live in New Jersey, so, um, they sell them here. I'm sure they sell them in other states. I don't know where it goes beyond the USA, but, um, if you guys have ever tried the Girl Scout cookie lemonades, this is identical. It smells not like a tart lemon, as opposed to the name. It's not a tart lemon. It's definitely an artificial lemon, a little more on the sweeter side, but um, it literally smells like a cookie. It's it's weird to say that because normally you wouldn't be able to identify a flavor as a cookie until you really taste it. But I smell this juice and I instantly think lemon shortbread cookie. It smells like a cookie. That aroma I could just put into like a, an air freshener and just smell that all day. It's unbelievable. The smell is, is fantastic. Let's take a finger test. The lemon is coming through nice. Um, for a split second, it kind of tastes like a lemon Pez, but it doesn't have, it's not really that artificial. But it does have that um, that sweetness of an artificial lemon. But it's good. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give this a vape. Uh, we're going to be using it in the Cleto 120 with a brand new coil on top of the G-Priv. Uh, the coil reads at 0.15, and we're going to start at 78.5 watts. Um, let's do it. Lemon Tart by Dinner Lady.
The inhale is, uh, you get a little bit of pins and needles on the back of your throat. It's a little bit gunky, but um, on the exhale, it definitely has that note of a cookie. Um, tastes like there's a, a shortbread lemon cookie. Um, I've been eating it. It's in my mouth. Um, it's exactly what it tastes like. Um, uh, I don't know about you guys, but those of us that have Girl Scout cookies, lemonades are my all-time favorite. So I am loving this juice. It tastes pretty much similar, that similar to it. I'm going to try to describe this in a way that doesn't talk about Girl Scout cookies because not everyone has, not everybody has them. Like I said, a little bit of an artificial lemon, but it's not a bad artificial lemon. Our, obviously, regular lemon is tart, is a sour. Um, this is more on the sweet side. Um, definitely, and like I said before, on the exhale, you're definitely getting the notes of a shortbread cookie. Um, Yeah, and besides a little harshness in the back of your throat, um, this juice pretty much goes in and out beautifully. Um, let's uh, let's check the retro hair. So the retro hair is clean. Um, one thing I'm noticing is that you still get more of a kick in the back of your throat. Um, this took a little while for me to adjust to. Um, I found that I don't want this flavor too, too hot. Um, this, this coil can go anywhere between 100 and 120 watts comfortably. Um, I normally stick a little bit below that just because with this tank, um, I don't have as much freedom to customize. So like, um, airflow is just what it is. It's not anything crazy like the Cloud Beast King where I'm hitting at like 130 all the time. Um, but um, at the, around this temperature, I could even stand to go a little bit lower and still be okay with that. But um, the sharpness in the back of your throat is unavoidable for the most part with this kind of lemon flavor. Um, any kind of citrusy flavor, you're pretty much going to get a good kick in your throat, and this is like fresh citrus. Um, other than that, it goes out your nose pretty smooth. It's a really good lemon taste on the top back part of your mouth. Um, it's not super sweet, but it's a little sweeter than you would like from a juice like this. Um, let's get into uh, ratings. Let's check the body. The body is good. Um, not blown away. But um, there are times where um, I'll be taking a regular old hit and I'll spread my body out evenly and I'll be like, wow, that's a pretty decent sized body. Um, with this, I get that not all the time, but definitely some of the time. Um, so on average, the body is big, but not as thick as I would like it to be, not as dark white and pluming as I normally like. So I'm gonna give the body uh, an eight and a half out of 10. Um, let's do the retro hill again. Definitely a tasty uh, retro hill, super clean, um, except for that pins and needles in the back of your throat. Um, the chest hit is pretty much non-existent. Um, I'm gonna give the retro hill a nine out of 10. Um, it's a good retro hill, it's a tasty retro hill. And um, for me personally, it's comfortable. Um, let us go to overall flavor and wrap up this review. So my thoughts on this juice. This juice is fabulous. It is a great juice. Um, super fresh and it's a good um, little step away from what I'm normally vaping on. I'm normally a very... Um, heavy berry vapor. Um, I love blueberry. Blueberry is my favorite vape flavor to vape. Blueberries and like berries and cream flavors are probably my favorites. Um, occasionally some fruit medleys, things like that. Um, 
normally nothing too, too savory. Um, more on the sweet side where I get a good amount of uh, kick in my throat. This flavor tastes delicious, but um, in terms of the throat hit, it's a little more of a gunky feeling than just a uh, quick pins and needles. Um, it lingers around a little bit, and um, um, it's not that pleasant. But other than that, um, is this an all-day vape? Um, I vape this flavor all day currently, but I still would not call this an all-day vape just because, um, weirdly enough, the lemon is, uh, there's no other word to describe it, but sugary. Um, you definitely feel it in the back of your throat, and after a while, it just gets a little bit more bland, but if you take a few hits of this, put it down for like five minutes and pick it up again, you'll get that perfect strawberry shortbread cookie flavor uh, pretty much every time. Um, it's a delicious flavor. Would I buy it again? I'm going to say yes, a resounding yes. I would definitely buy this flavor again. Um, I wouldn't buy it too soon after this because I don't want to get sick of it. That's how much I like it. Um, I will definitely vape through the 60 mils. Um, I got this yesterday. I expect myself to be done with this bottle by this Saturday. Um, so that's like another five days. Um, I should be done with this juice by then, definitely. It's an amazing juice. It's super good, super tasty, especially for someone like me that loves the strawberry, uh, I almost said strawberry, the uh, lemon shortbread cookies. Uh, so guys, I'm going to give Lemon Tart by Dinner Lady a resounding 9, uh, nine out of 10. Um, again, the only reason is not getting a 10. Um, besides the fact that it's really hard for me to give a juice a 10, um, it's just that, that gunkiness. It kind of gunks up in the back of your throat and kind of takes away from the magic that is this juice. It is a delicious, delicious juice, and I wish that throat uh, gunkiness wasn't there, but it is. Other than that, this flavor is absolutely delicious, and I highly recommend buying yourself a bottle. So guys, this has been my review for uh, Dinner Lady's Lemon Tart Flavor. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, check out my other videos, all that good shit. Hit the bell notification if you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, I'll end you on a vape. And if I don't post again before Thanksgiving, have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you guys. I'll see you on my next one.